It is a sunny afternoon in the province of Northwest. We are live in the Harte Beer Sports Dam. It is myself, Kakiso Emmanuel Nguenya, sitting with Itumeleng Mahongwa. And today we just want to speak to you about the Bupirima Camp Festival. Um, Itumeleng, how is it? Sir? No, no, I'm good, man. And uh, how are you, KJ? No, I'm good. I'm no, good. I'm good um, I think I just jumped straight into it. Take us through the Bupirima Camp Fest. I know someone told me the name Buko Nibu Perima represents, you know, the, 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 the setting of the sun. But what does the event um, really mean? And what is the inspiration behind the event itself? And the inspiration behind this event was after COVID-19, uh, when um, uh, tourism was hit hard. Yeah. Uh, blind. Mm. Yeah. And, and things were not moving for tourism businesses. Mm. And um, obviously, after COVID-19, we really had to do something together as businesses within Wupirima, where we can come together and, and, and make sure that tourism come back into the into the province. Mm, wow. And yeah. that's when Wupirima Ken Fest was born. Yes. Uh, Wupirima is where the sun set. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you know, and uh, for us, it's, it's important that we invite all the travelers from all over the country to come and see where the sun sets. I mean, it's a beautiful, you can see the background is beautiful behind us. Oh, wow. I think I love the concept of where the sun sets because it really symbolizes the jinx of the event because we want people to come here in the province of Northwest where the yeah. sun sets, you yeah. know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to find themselves, you yeah. know, yeah. in a place where the sun sets, sleeping in, obviously, you know, beautiful campsites and all of those things. But what are some of the key experiences that one would expect coming to attend the, P- the Bupirima Festival? And let me tell you now, uh, Bupirima Camp Festival is about the destination. Mm, it's yeah. about the destination northwest. Uh, but this time around, uh, Bupirima Camp Fest will be hosted in Harte Beers. I mean, Harte Beers so is one of the places where, you, as a visitor, you'll experience almost everything that you want. Yeah. There's a dam, have the beer stand behind us here. There are boats, uh, boat riding that we can enjoy, which is water activities. Yeah. Uh, but not only that, man, we have cable way uh, that, uh, that you enjoy. And uh, there's so many things to explore within yeah. Hartis. It's a destination in, in itself. But then it's not only about that, man. It's about uh, collaborations, For sure. uh, yeah. bringing, bringing businesses from from all over, not even just in the province, because before we had the province, we had the country, you mm-hmm. know, collaboration from all over South Africa coming into the Northwest and making sure that the tourism tourism economy grows. Wow, man. Well, I can't wait to be here, really. <laughs> ah, it's going to be tough. Ah, it's going to be tough. Bro. But it's now, be tough. Yeah. sitting at home, and mm. I'm seeing a post on Facebook, the Bupirima Camp Fest yeah, page, yeah. and the post says the event is going to happen for a period of three days from the 7th of June up until Sunday the 9th of June. Is there a specific itinerary that I need to follow, maybe from the first day until the last day? Well, it's going to be epic. Uh yeah. Uh, for know, sure. We, I mean, <laughs> we want to make sure that when the visitors come, they have the they have a ball and have the, they have a blast. I know. Then we are thinking, hey, uh, it's gonna be cool. It's not going to be too deep. It's gonna be warm because sure, yeah. the people who love the outdoors will be there. Um, so we we expecting gonna be a lot of music. Uh, there will be a lot of food experience, wow. uh, a lot of water activities, like I said, experience. Mm-hmm. Um, or, of course, camping, you know, yeah. uh, sleeping in a tent in wow. June. I think the crazy people out there, please come through. Sure. Uh, <laughs> let's experience this thing of sleeping in a tent in June. Wow. Yeah, so that we can. Yeah. And, and it's just right, we're going to be camping right at the dam. Man. And I think that's, that's, that's the beauty of what we want to achieve but then the biggest thing let me to be honest with is just to actually also enjoy the destination in Madibe municipality well, uh, yeah. called Hardis but also the villages around uh, meet the people make new friends mm. uh, you know have 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 beverages around the fire bonfire For I sure. think that <laughs> is going to be awesome I think from my perspective mm. such an event really expands our thought in terms of tourism you know People always think of tourism in, in one, you know, 
um, in, in one mindset, in one thought, in one ideology that Tourism is all about going to visit those beach sites, you know. Yeah, so my it's man, just yeah. about going to see mountainous places. Yeah. But I think the event takes us back to the experience element of the tourism industry. Yeah, yeah. Because tourism is most even even though we are going out, you know, to visit those different attractions, it is the experience that counts. Yeah. And I was watching a the previous videos that you guys did last year. I yeah, think it was an yeah, interview yeah. of yourself and a few yeah. other participants, attendants, mm. really. Um, people who came to the event, they were saying part of the benefits that they benefited from the previous event was the inability to come into a space and, you know, network with people you don't even know and you don't yeah, think about these yeah, things. Yeah. So w- what do you think then is that one core experience that one person should expect coming to this one? No, 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 it's fun. Um, when when are Sure. Yeah, and, and I think once in a while it's important that you mm-hmm. come in and and you just relax. Mm. And 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 I'm telling you, people that are coming in because it's an outdoor event, the people that are coming in already are adventurous. For sure. They're just yeah. looking for adventure. It's it's, mm. it's 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 where you're coming in and lo- less stress. So the people that are coming through, they must just exp- just be ready to not have stress, yeah. to de-stress and laugh and mm. meet new people and just have fun. Uh, by the time you go back on the 9th, you should be saying, sure, I can't wait for the, for the <laughs> next one coming in in 2025. Yes, yeah. yeah. So I think as a parting pack, I don't want um, someone to think coming to a camping festival is all about just coming to experience sleeping in a camp, sleeping in a campsite, um, to mingle with people only, but also with music. But I know for sure there are certain activities that people partake. And I know from the last one, people had a hiking session in the morning. And those yeah. are some of the things that oh, challenges well, you. Well, you know? That's quite nice. But yeah. yeah. For sure. Yeah, no, no, we'll have those activities. And let me tell you, dude, let's, the people who don't like sleeping in a tent, because uh, let's not assume that everybody wants to sleep in a tent. Yeah, uh, in a campsite uh, where the event will be, will be held, uh, which is Eagle Waters Resort. Uh, there's also chalets. Uh, that if you don't want to sleep in a tent, then you can actually you book can yourself you. in a in a in a in a room like uh, looking thing. But it's just not cool. We, we will <laughs> obviously, obviously, will will prefer you to to sleep in a tent in a tent. But because we are not the same, yes, yes. Um, we have options for people who are we have phobia <laughs> of sleeping <laughs> in a tent. Uh, Rona, Rona Manora will sleep uh, will for sleep sure. in a tent <laughs> and have fun. For, for sure, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And I, I think from the previous event and all other camp, you know, initiatives that I've attended, nothing has ever happened. You know, if anything, if you want to challenge your 10 phobias, this is the event for you to attend. Because obviously it's done by tourism professionals, yeah. you know. You are going to focus so much in the fun and the enjoyment of the event itself. So much that you'll forget about all of your phobias. But um, the, Bukoni, the Bukoni Camp Festival is coming on the 7th of June. It is a three-day camping event. And this is, you know, a short episode to invite each and every single one of you. And just to reiterate, the what is the venue for the Camp Fest? So the venue for the Camp Fest is um, Eagle, Eagle Waters uh, Wild, Wildlife Re- Resort. Um, and, uh, I mean, it's going to be just next to the dam. You see where you're sitting. Yeah. Wow, I mean, yeah, that's quite nice. I yeah. mean, look at that. Just behind this, behind us, there's mountains. Um, I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy yourself. And uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. Yeah. I can't wait to, yeah. you know, um, sleep in the night in a tent and then, you know, experience this. In um, June. In June. In June, yeah. <laughs> and I'm sure they will be like... <laughs> and I think if, if there's anything that I would love to experience, and I think this event um, will give me the, the first opportunity for me to experience that in June, where it is where you get to sit in a bomber fire yes. and have conversations, you know, about where we come from, understanding different people, where they come from. And sure, guys, I can't wait to experience that. And if you can't, exp- and, and if you can't wait to experience it too, Please join me at the Bupreme One campus. more thing. One more thing. Yeah. We're expecting 3,000 campers. Hmm. So there's plenty of opportunities for you to mingle and network with people. Yeah, 3,000 campers sitting in one camp, and that will be a conversations on another level. <laughs> and it's not for Northwest alone. Uh, if you're coming from Durban, 
coming from Free State, mm -hmm. uh, coming from Lesotho, coming from Swaziland, sure. uh, coming from yeah. Botswana. Uh, this is for you. This is a destination. Uh, this is it's got yeah. nothing to do with only just the province. But we want you to come and visit our province and make sure that you have the fun that you wanted. For yeah, sure. From the beginning. <laughs> sure. So my friends there, if they want to join me in um, obviously securing my ticket, where can we find the ticket? We are live now on Hala. Uh, the tickets are very affordable. Um, uh, we are going to be a cashless event. Uh, also, we're going to be very mindful about the environment because we are just next to the dam. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's going to be it's going to be key. I mean, we're not going to allow bottles to come, uh, the plastics to oh, come in. Yeah, yeah. Um, did I say bottles? No, yeah. plastics, plastics to come in. Um, the plastics that you'll be drinking from will be re regulated. Uh, so we'll be selling a special glass that we uh, plastic glass that uh, yes, yes yes and and, and yeah. I think that is key for us and 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 I hope you, that people that are coming through will definitely will definitely be mindful of because we need to be responsible citizens. Oh wow! Well, there you have it, guys. If you want to follow the Bupirima Camp Festival, follow them on Facebook as well as on Instagram at Bupirima Camp Fest. Thank you so much. That's it from my side. Do, hola, you, hola. do you have anything else to say? Ah, it's okay, Sharp. It's great, man. <laughs> um, we, we, I think, I think, I, I can't wait. I can't wait to, 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 Ah, yeah, sure. so I can't wait to have a buying them from all over the county, you know. Yeah, we, yeah. we're waiting for you, and for sure, but one of you to go to Yeah, <laughs> for, <laughs> really sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. If you also can't wait yeah. to join us, please go through the Howler platform, Search Prima Camp Festival, and secure your ticket today. That's it from my side. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers.